Hello everybody, it is day 12 of our adventure. And instead of being on the motorcycle and heading towards Homestead, Florida and the Florida Keys as we had planned, we are currently in Pensacola Beach. And I'll tell you why we're here instead in just a minute. Yes, yesterday after we left West Memphis, Arkansas, and headed through Mississippi and went to Tupelo and Elvis's birthplace and enjoyed an absolutely wonderful ride, beautiful sunny weather, no indication of rain, until we crossed over from Mobile, Alabama, over the bay, arrived at our destination for the night in Daphne, Alabama, and it started to rain, it poured. We were soaked, we were tired, and made it into the room. I was talking to my husband and he said to check the forecast, so I did, and it looks like Florida is going to be a wet one for the rest of the week. We decided to go ahead and make a few adjustments, stay the night, another night in Daphne, and then just make a trip over here to Pensacola Beach, so we can at least hit the Gulf of Mexico and see the beautiful sandy beaches here in Pensacola. So let me share that ride with you down Highway 98. It was a beautiful scenic ride. And then I'll tell you what our plans are for the rest of the trip. Taking off this morning from the hotel, we head towards Florida. We take Highway 98 at the suggestion of someone at the hotel. Interstate 10 would get us there quicker, but we prefer taking the scenic route, and we are not at all disappointed. I love these beautiful live oak trees as they provide a canopy over the road. Of course, I am not disappointed with all the waterways either. over Perdido Bay, which is a coastal lagoon and estuary that crosses over into Florida. Though it is only 66 miles to our destination, Kayla is quite uncomfortable. It is here we stop at a traffic light and Kayla disappears. She decides for the more comfortable tri-glide ride.
we come to the Pensacola Bay Bridge, also known locally as the Three Mile Bridge. It runs between downtown Pensacola and Gulf Breeze, Florida. It carries six lanes of US Highway 98 across the Pensacola Bay. The original bridge was opened June 13, 1931. The original bridge was replaced on October 31, 1960, at which time a portion of the original bridge served as a fishing pier. The current eastbound span of the bridge was opened on September 5, 2019, and a westbound span on February 14, 2023. Gulf Breeze is a city in Santa Rosa County, Florida, located between downtown Pensacola and Pensacola Beach. Gulf Breeze is known as the front porch to Pensacola Beach, and the two are connected by the Bob Sykes Bridge over Santa Rosa Sound. This area is known for its white sugary sandy beaches and crystal clear waters of the Gulf of Mexico. The Pensacola Beach Boardwalk has shops, eateries, and Pensacola Beach Pier. There is an eco trail which spotlights local wildlife such as sea turtles. To the west is the 1834 Fort Pickens, which is part of National Parks. Of course, I would love to take a tour of the fort, but that will have to be for another time. Instead, we head over to get some lunch. One of my utmost favorite seafoods is crab. So naturally, I am drawn to this restaurant, Crabs on the Beach. Check out their website. I will link it in the notes section below. We are not at all disappointed. The service was excellent, and did I say how awesome the view was? Now, about those plans for the rest of this trip. I have learned that things do not always go as planned. So instead of heading south towards Homestead, Florida, and the Florida Keys, we are going to be heading north and going to Helen, Georgia. Now I've been to that beautiful little town. It looks like an Alpine village, but my daughter has not. And I am really looking forward to sharing that with her. It is so important to be flexible on these trips, especially when you're on a motorcycle because weather can change your plans quickly. It is a beautiful evening ride back across the bridge and we take I-10 back to Daphne, Alabama.
until next time, everybody, God bless and safe riding out there.